When I was a little annoying head, I was always curious about what to do to spend my time on during my childhood. And hold up, hold up, I didn't actually set the date for this yet. Uh, let's go around, uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, back in 2004, video games were as popular as they were now. Steam released last year, EA didn't release garbage, and the Half-Life trilogy was still going. As a kid like me, all that mattered was my recess, Internet Explorer, and Cartoon Network. And put all those elements together, it created me, the cautious gamer. So I just realized that I uploaded a picture of a cat and it got demonetized. Well then. So from everyone watching this video right now, it's safe to assume that we all like this thing called video games, right? I feel like overall video games played an amazing role in society that brings communities together. Without video games, I wouldn't see anything good in my life except for sleep and eating and I know a lot of us have school. But put more factors in and I would see a load of stress in my life for no reason. Without video games, I wouldn't see anything good in my life except for sleep and eating and I know a lot of us have school or a job to attend to. We all like video games from different standpoints and views but honestly it's the immersion and the realism of that game that sells. The mechanics are on point and because of how awesome the gameplay is, I find myself playing a single game hours on end, which is what most of us even do anyways. To take the story back, let's go all the way to like 2009. Cartoon Network wasn't trash, Avatar was my favorite movie, and around that time I had a godsend of owning a Windows XP. I know back then most kids had like a PS3 or an Xbox, but for me having a Windows XP was like my best friend. And officially making me a PC gamer, sort of. You see, I never owned a console back then because I legitimately didn't know what a console was until like two years later in fourth grade. But in fourth grade, it wasn't even a console, it was a 3DS. But I guess you could technically say that, I don't know. I didn't know what GTA, Halo, or even Steam was, or much less YouTube. So to invest my childhood, I played something called online games. And that wasn't Roblox, by the way. Like, I'm talking about the classic miniclip.com, Poptropica, the most famous Y8.com. Surprisingly, I was an outcast and I never really known about Club Penguin or Wizard 101. Fast forward to 2011, I moved and I got a taste of Windows 7 and I still played online games and I still didn't know what Steam was. Fast forward to like 2013, I think I got my first DS at that point, but I forgot what like what year that was. That was so long ago. Fast forward to 2014 and I got my first console which was the Wii U. I don't know about you guys, but the Wii U Deluxe was a stepping point in my life. I was able to actually play AAA games for the first time. Splatoon was like my Call of Duty. Smash 4 was addictive. After all these years, I feel like I didn't use my DS to its fullest potential. Because all I really did was play Super Mario Bros 1, Lego Batman 2, and Flipnote. And I think the battery died on the DS, so that's ca that's a complete waste. As for any other kid that used the DS at night, I would always hide my DS whenever my parents came in my room under my pillow. So if my parents are watching this video right now... <coughs> I owned more 3DS games than Wii U games at some point and I realized that there was a whole other library of content I was missing out on. So basically I was that kid that had multiple games for two different platforms and I was happy about it. So after all of this gaming there's a reason why I don't own this console and this handheld anymore, including these games. Well first off. The Wii U kind of like died itself. And second off, my brother snapped the 3DS in half. If you guys had like a 3DS or a Wii U, however, there was this thing called Miiverse, and it was a sort of like a Facebook, DeviantArt, and Twitter mash into one. There was people that drew art and posted it and got a lot of likes, or people that just posted some random things. I really couldn't tell you guys how many hours I wasted on Miiverse, but I could totally say I was a toxic brat. It was a pretty bad time, and I don't want to really talk about me as an immature 13 year old. The original Wii U I played with broke because they smashed the gamepad screen, and I don't think they sold replacement gamepads anymore. So my mom just bought another one, and it still works, it's just that now, my brothers went on parental controls, locked the entire console, and now it's basically useless. At that point, I had my first PC, discovered Steam, and started playing my very first PC games of that year, which was around 
2016, 2015, something, something like that. It was an AMD computer with A5 graphics, so running a game like GTA 5 was a nightmare, yet I still made it work somehow. Gotta give a shout out to my man's low spec gamer. Now it's Christmas 2017, and I finally got my first mainstream console, the beautiful PS4. I don't want this video to start any console wars against me, so the only reason why I got a PS4 is because you don't have to pay PS Plus to play free to play games like Fortnite or Warframe. If I had an Xbox with no live, I would have been, well, and plus most of my friends play on PlayStation, so. It's 2019 and my house has every platform except for an Xbox. I can always wait next year though since Microsoft is releasing more exclusives for their console like Halo Infinite. So all in all, I'm happy about my life as a gamer and everyone watching this video should be with their own lives too. Before I end this video, I want to give a huge thanks for Potato for animating this whole thing. So if y'all want to subscribe or pay him some commissions for him, then I'll link his stuff in the description. Anyways, first video of 2019 guys, I'm here making videos and flex my GTX 1060 than actually going outside. I hope you guys liked the video and I'm pretty sure it was pretty funny here and there. Make sure to subscribe and I'm out. Peace. Overwatch is trash.